We're five minutes in. The former junior tag champs look like they're ready to finish off these young Lions here tonight in our opener. Cork and Hall, double drop kick there. Here's a cover, and a count of two and a kick out. Yes, sir. Now the single leg crab. One too long ago that Master Watto was trying to master the Boston Crab and all the tools and techniques that go into being a young lion, but now here we are. High flying, big jumping junior heavyweight star. Look at the look at determination on the face of Kosei Fujita, who does not want to be submitted here tonight after falling to a similar fate last night, thanks to Minoru Suzuki. FTR certainly looked like they were in deep, deep trouble after Dax Harwood. I, I'm not sure if he sprained his elbow or if it was a separation of his shoulder, but he, he had to leave. Wound up getting his shoulder tape, hip attack, two, and a kick out. Came back all taped up and was able to help he and Cash Wheeler get the win at Forbidden Door. So we've got new heavyweight tag team champions, new junior heavyweight tag team champions. We've got Kushida pursuing the junior heavyweight title. And all the heavyweights are getting ready for the G1. Switchblade Jay White retained the World Heavyweight Championship at Forbidden Door. And he'll have a huge target on him in the upcoming G1 Climax Tournament as Oiwa gets tagged in. First things first, take care of Master Watto. And this will leave Ryusuke Taguchi without a partner momentarily. They drop kick into the chest. Here comes Oiwa off the ropes, head of steam, the tackle. One, two, kick out. The power of Ryohei. Of course, the right arm of Kojima, his finisher. The strong arm and Homa changing direction and making it count. Big target on the back of Kojima now as the GHC heavyweight champion. He was X last night, the mystery opponent for Taka Vinchinoku and the junior heavyweight Taka went right after that right arm and attack Kojima feverishly in, a, in an effort to get the win. This will put a smile on your face if you're anybody, oh no. Well, no smiles, except for Kojima. Everybody feels badly when Honma misses it. Misses that Kokeshi. And let's see now, we yeah, we're gonna see some uh, machine gun chops, here we go. Chris Charlton, what he say? I know what he's saying. I just like to make Chris try to say a bad word. Ooh, that elbow drop, man, that is fierce. And a kick out, oh, just barely. Wow. Jay Lethal told me that Kojima landing on him was the heaviest elbow drop he's ever felt. And Homa was able to kick out at two. The rolling elbow, but now a DDT on to. Oh, we saw it with Kosei Fujita, right? Going after Minoru Suzuki. Oh, out you go. Oh, this isn't going to go well for him. Oh, boy. Oh, no. They have a mop and a bucket. They're gonna need that. And Ishii tagging Okada. Oh, goodness. Oh, the DKC's in the house. DKC, Kevin Knight. Energetic tag team. They'll see action coming up in Charlotte, the Grady Cole Center against the four-time former NWA World Tag Team Champions, the Heat Seekers. Come on, GK. Come on. Go, 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 go. Come on. 
making their New Japan Strong debut. Zane is like, please don't get any of the DKC on me. And tag out. And we'll see what the sauce can do here. Alex Zane is just a, what a breath of fresh air he was during the best of the Super Junior Tournament. Both he and now his former friend, Ace Austin. Took Japan by storm. Ace, of course, betraying Alex Zane and all the fans by siding with Bullet Club. But Alex Zane back. And the DKC trying to fight out of this red corner. Tanahashi came oh so close to becoming the AEW interim champion. John Moxley was able to get the victory though at Forbidden Door. Sling blade on the way. Ooh. Big mid kicks there. Dragon screw leg whip, dragon screw leg whip. Kenta trying to do all he can, but nowhere to go but down. And the cloverleaf. Tanahashi's got to be aware of his positioning. I'm sure he knows where that John, that Gato is behind him. Oh, but gets caught. Right hand, roll up, two, almost. DDT from Kenta. All right, so Gato coming in. Very aggressive here, realizing Tanahashi's in a weakened state. Jawbreaker. Puts him in perfect position for the thrust kick. And the blacksmith now with the aces leg hook and a kick out at two. And now where is he going? Into that pocket. Oh, I thought it was just a really strong punch. He's got a hunk of iron on the end of his hand at brass knuckles and now the crutch is out. The same crutch that Kenta had to use for all those months with his dislocated hip, swing and a miss, and a swat. There, we'll get our first look at Jonah in a New Japan ring in his first G1 Climax tournament against Toriyano that same night. And Shingo Takagi versus Juice Robinson. That's night two of the tournament, Sunday, July 17th. The tournament starts on the 16th, and right off the bat, we're gonna see because Kazuchiko Okada versus Jeff Cobb, Sonata versus Switchblade Jay White, Tanahashi versus Aaron Hanare, and Will Ospreay versus El Fantasmo. Tell me you can't miss a, a match, you can't miss a minute of this tournament. Tanchi showing that peck popping prowess. Sonata's not feeling it tonight. Come on, let's see what you got, Sonata. He doesn't want to do it. Doesn't have it in him tonight. Came to wrestle. Up. Now you got 
and Marty and Sami's got the key. So, the, correct me if I'm wrong, fans, the first thing we need to do is beat the hell out of the referee and get the key, right? It's not the votes, it's the guy who counts the votes, right? Uh-oh. Just give him the key, and nobody will get hurt. Hook in the eye, fist to the head. All right, now Dick Togo will drop the fist on Toriano. Get no pinfalls, no submissions, no countouts, no DQs. And this match will continue until one of these two is thrown into that dog cage and gets locked in. Brutal. Now give me the key. Uh-oh. Another close fist behind the referee's back. Give him the key. Hang on. Yano's got that pad. All right, so Togo's got the key, but just gets brutalized for it. All right, so now Yano's got the key. Step one, get the key. Step two, throw your opponent out of the ring. Now step three would be drag his carcass over and unlock the cage. Step four, throw him in the open cage. Step five. Lock the cage. Uh-oh. This is what we all want for you. Let's turn that super kick loose. Send show to next week. Bang! Oh, baby, that had to feel good, too. Oh, come on, Dick Togo. Yano's getting the carrot. The referee dragged out on his face. The walking stick into the throat. There's poor Red Shoes. Well, this sucks. Wait a minute. Now this has gone from bad to worse. Not only has Dick Togo been freed from the cage, but now Yano, Yoshihashi, and Goto have been thrown into the cage, and, and now Dick Togo is going to lock them in the cage, thereby ensuring that Yo is at a four-on-one disadvantage. And... Russia! Might as well just give the champ. Just go ahead and ring the bell now, because there's no way that Yo can survive. And once again, we're going to see more of the House of Torture, but Pimp Juice there. The only thing that will forestall this, at least for the moment, is the fact we don't have a referee. We don't have a referee to count the three magic killer. Well, they're just going to hit all their finishers on Yo. Red Shoes must have landed hard on his shoulder when Dick Togo ran. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How the hell did that happen? How did Yano do that? How did. He had a second key! 